this is your second stimulus check, your second stimulus package update, Thursday, July 30th. With great regret, I must report that Herman Cain passed on from his battle with Dorona. Rest in peace, Herman Cain. Donald Trump is talking about delaying the elections. This is how much trouble he knows he's in. I am almost certain, I'm almost ready to 100% call it that Donald Trump's gonna lose the election and he's going to go down in flames. He's gonna fight tooth and nail. He's gonna float whatever kind of conspiracy theory that he can come up with. Donald knows that it is not looking good for the home team. Unemployment has gone up, not once, not two, but for three weeks in a row. Unemployment has gone up for three weeks in a row and certain states, the Rona is decreasing and then certain states, the Rona is surging. So it really depends on where you are and what's going on. The economy has the worst drop ever at 32.9% contraction. This has been the biggest drop since, but you know, it didn't even drop this bad during the Great Depression. So there goes all of this V-shaped recovery. Let's talk about that. I've been telling you guys for months, I've been telling you for months that there will not be any V-shaped recovery and there are people who are still clinging with their little tiny little fist to this hope of a V-shaped recovery. Our GDP shrunk 32.9%, 33%. That is almost, is almost 33%. That is, does not bode well for a V-shaped recovery. And the number of people who are being unemployed is starting to grow due to states opening, states shutting down. This is Rona is going to be with us right now. Major baseball is playing the games in the first few games, 14 players got sick. We will see the same thing happen with college football in the NFL. I'm hundred percent sure that we will see this and we will see that people who will attend to these games will get the Rona. It's going to be in the cards. So, it is Thursday, July 30th, and the Republicans and the GOP Senate are we're nowhere near close to coming up with a deal. They're not even close. There are so many issues they're trying to work out. The Democrats said we ease up on the unemployment extension and there are half of the Republican senators don't want to do another stimulus package. They don't want to do it. They're, they're clinging and they're hoping for this V-shaped recovery. And right now we're about to go through a shift because mark my words, we will see the impact of the reduction of the $600 economic unemployment boost in the economy in September, because what's going to happen right now, uh, I, I did a consulting call today and you know, someone was listening to me and he worked out a deal with his landlord and he's almost caught up on his rent because he said, I scared him. The evictions will be real. I mean, yeah, you're a good person. Yes, you got baby Babu. Yes, you and Big Betty Booty are making love. You're a cute family unit and the landlord does not care. The landlord needs his money. And if you're not giving the landlord his money, they will get you out. I suspect the evictions are going to take two to six months because there's going to be so many. We're going to see what happens with the evictions is going to, that happen with unemployment. The unemployment offices were not built for this kind of traffic and their systems buckled and crumbled under the weight. So we're going to see the same type of activity with the court systems, with these evictions, and some people are going to get to stay two, three, four, six months, but eventually they will get them up out of there. And mark my words, 
This is Glendon Cameron, and I told you weeks ago that they were not going to work out a deal in July. We have one more day for them to work out a deal, and they're nowhere close. They're still bickering, they're still battling. And then this starts the clock for seven days in August. There is a great chance that they may not work out a deal in August and they will have to come back to the table in September. September, which means that the people, this is why I say that we're gonna see the uh, lack of the additional $600 unemployment boost in September. So that's gonna, cause it's gonna start trickling through in August and we're gonna fill it in September and more and more people are being laid off. More and more people are being laid off. Why? Cause businesses have figured out that they can make money without as many people and they're going to get rid of people. Head counts are gonna be reduced. We're going to have a really interesting season. It's going to be crazy what's about to drop down. But I do believe at some point they will work out a, a stimulus check, a stimulus proposals. The Democrats want to cut a check. The Republicans, half of them want to cut a check. And Donald J. Trump wants to cut a check. Donald J. Trump said the check will be bigger than the last one just today. And Donald J. Trump went on Twitter and was like, hey, perhaps we should postpone the election. This has never happened in American history ever before, and it's not going to happen. I recommend that you mail in your ballot. I've already sent in my application to get my ballot to be mailed in, and you should do so too. And we're going to see a record number of mail-in ballots and this is what Trump is gonna float all kind of conspiracy theories because he knows that he's gonna lose. And once again, uh, to add on to yesterday's video, if the Democrats get the Senate and if the Democrats get the presidency, you're gonna see the mother of all stimulus packages. You're gonna see a version of universal basic income. You're gonna see perhaps a $2,000 per month stimulus check payment. Now, let's say the Democrats do not win. We will have more of what we already got. The Republicans will dig their heels in, they will not come to the table, they will not sit down, and then we will continue to do what we've been doing for the last three months, waiting in limbo while they pick their toes. Mitch, Money Mitch said, we going on vacation. We're not going to postpone our break. Nancy Pelosi said, hey, you know, if we need to stay here and work there's, you know, I'm fine with that. And they're like, Mitch was like, nah, 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 no. No, Nancy. No, Nancy. We're going on vacation. And nothing will get done. So after tomorrow, the seven day clock starts ticking. And I guarantee you, if they do not work out a deal and start cutting these people some checks, and providing an additional unemployment boost, you will see the GOP Republicans voted out of office. Mitch is like, this may be my last hurrah. This may be my last time in Congress. So I'm going to go out in flames. I'm going to hold to my principles. I'm going to keep doing the things I'm doing. I'm going to keep putting these federal judges on the bench. And that'll be my legacy. So that's your stimulus check update, your second stimulus check update for July 30th, 2020. I got something for you. If you want to get credit, and let's say you have bad credit, you can go ahead and sign up for Oxygen Bank. The link is below. You sign up, I get $25, and you get $25 once you fund the account with $200 and use the debit card five times. I even got some more goodies in the goodie bag for you. I have 30 days to 2,500, 
the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success, and also consulting calls. And this is a new wrinkle to the consulting calls. This morning, I had three calls and they got, two people got ultimate money, because if you book a consulting call, a financial tune-up, or any consulting call, I will go through a list of my courses and whatever is appropriate for you, you will get that in conjunction with the phone call, depending on what's going on, what's going, what I'm doing, and so on and so forth. So you get a lot of bang for your buck and all of the consulting calls and stuff will be below. So check them out, see where you need to get in. And if you don't have no money, go ahead, get 30 days to 2,500, go ahead, get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success, and start your service business today so you can bring home some money to feed baby bamboo and to keep big booty Betty in a good mood. Hopefully you'll have a good day and I'll see you guys in this next video.